I am Julia Salai. At this university, people like to say Julia Salai, but in Hungarian, we say Julia. Uh, I am a Hungarian sociologist, and I have double affiliations. I am not fully affiliated with CEU, uh, because one pillar of my existence is bound to the Institute of Sociology of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences, where I am heading a nice research group. Uh, and here I am basically affiliated with the Center for Policy Studies, uh, but it's more complex than this because that's research work and I'm teaching as well with two departments, Political Science Department and the National Studies Program, so these are alternating. I have a, a, my BA was from uh, Applied Mathematics in Economic Planning, uh, which was quite important in the old socialist times, but I never worked uh, neither as a mathematician nor as a planner. Uh, but in those days, sociology was an underground subject, so you couldn't take it uh, in formal terms. Uh, and we fought for it, a few uh, of us, to uh, get some permission uh, to have sociology courses and then, then to write our thesis from sociology. So that's what I did. The researchers that I have been affiliated with in the past, say, 10, 15 uh, years, uh, were in, in a way or another dealing with the problems of, of how the welfare state should be created in a, in a waking democracy. So if you don't have the democratic foundations, what Western countries had, uh, before the rise of the welfare state, what happens? So this is a, uh, this led me to the to some studies in comparative welfare state studies uh, on a more theoretical level, and um, and research work on poverty and and the bifurcation of of the post-socialist welfare states. And uh, for the past two decades, it uh, came only after the after the systemic change. I started to work on ethnic relations and especially Roma issues. And in those uh, fields, so the ethnic relations, it's mainly uh, what one would call probably political sociology, so the struggles for recognition of these, these groups, which are usually ex uh, mi minoritized and, and excluded socially, and, and I have been working on that. Currently, I am involved in a a huge project uh, which is uh, uh, financed by the uh, within the FP7 framework of the European Commission. And before I say what it is, uh, it is the f for the first time that uh, in social sciences it is a, a central European entity which got the lead in this project. And this project is about uh, ethnic differences in education and. Uh, the diverging prospects for youth in urban settings. And it compares uh, peculiarly uh, second generation migrants and Roma. And you just don't find studies, so people just think that a Roma issue is just there in the darker part of Europe and, and that's, that's very different of, uh, from all, all the problems, ethnic problems that uh, uh, Western Europe has. One of the conclusions is that the creation of second class citizenship is a very, very uh, strong problem or deep problem in all settings. Uh, if it is uh, countervailed in a, in a certain degree, to, to a certain degree with other uh, social rights and democratic political rights, then then there is a hope of, of, uh, of uh, overcoming it on, with deliberate policies, obviously. Uh, in the case of Roma, that's, uh, that's a, a, a very big question mark, what could be done, because that, that is not simply uh, a, a matter of social rights, but uh, the whole, uh, whole functioning of the democracies in these countries, which is at stake here.